Hi, I'm Holly from Twinkle and today I'm going to be showing you how you can share with your child ways that writing is used in the real world. Writing is a means of expression and a tool for communication and it's important that children know that but it's also important for children to understand that writing is used in the real world by real people, not just authors. We need to ensure that children have the opportunities to write when there is a real authentic purpose and to write about experiences and meaningful events in their everyday life. The Twinkle website has many writing frames to support writing for real life, such as biographies, book reviews and diaries. However, today I'm going to share with you some more general ways that writing is used in the real world. Let's start with an obvious one, newspaper reports. Some children might say that nobody reads newspapers anymore, even though we know that they do. However, the language used when reporting is an important skill to learn. Similarly, the way a newspaper reporter or journalist writes is similar to that of a TV news reporter. News reporters project confidence and authority and use body language in the same way. These skills can be used when presenting projects in the classroom, when applying for the role of a school counsellor, or in the future, when applying for a job. Learning to write a newspaper report teaches children to use puns, rhyme or alliteration in headlines, write in chronological order, use formal language, write a variety of speech, and a very important skill, to write a concluding paragraph which sums up the events. Another way writing is used in the real world is in letters. From writing a letter with a Christmas list Children come across letters in school frequently, but often aren't given real life examples that relate to them. A formal email is a modern version of a letter, and as adults we often email, whether it's to apply for a job, emailing work colleagues, or simply emailing family members. Both letters and emails can be formal or informal, but typically start with an appropriate greeting. Likewise, a cover letter when applying for a job usually follows the same formality. Explaining why you are suitable for the job and why you want the job. This could also be in an email. In an apology letter or email to a friend or work colleague, you might start with dear and appear chatty and informal. However, a letter to a local councillor would be more formal and probably start, Dear Sir or Madam. This formal letter would usually have an introduction, formal sentence starters, and details organised into paragraphs. In school, children are regularly asked to fill in book reviews. These are great for encouraging discussions about books and being able to write a synopsis. And equally, adults go to book clubs in the real world. However, this reviewing skill can be used in the real world, such as when reviewing a restaurant, a holiday, a theatre trip, or even a movie. For example, children could fill in this theatre production review after seeing the Christmas play, the Year 6 play, or even when actors from a local community have come in to perform. It takes a confident person to be honest about their experiences in the real world, and often we glaze over the negatives so that people don't feel bad. However, a written review doesn't have to offend anyone. It's good to share your true opinion and be honest with yourself and others. Honesty gives us freedom. I hope you found my video useful on how to use writing in the real world. Thanks for watching.